What's up, riders? Baby, I got some information for y'all, an update on another spell. Um, it was a banishing work that I did a month ago. And I got an update for y'all. I just got back in the house. Y'all, I am unloading groceries and um, things that I just had to go purchase. And we're going to do that and talk. Because I do have... Um, I do have two readings in the next hour. Um, so I have one at 3.30 today and I have one at like 4 or 4.30 today. So I'm coming through. We're going to do this together. Um, I look back. Look, without growth, there is no change, baby. How do I block you in real life? T-shirt, baby, it's a simple day for Lady B today. I got to work into light as well today. So, I'm on the go today. So, let's talk about the ritual that I just did for myself, and it was for banishing. These are the flowers for this ritual. I chose peach, red roses, and white for peace, healing. Um, I'm doing a re um, reconciliation ritual tonight for a client. So, these are the, yes, baby, that's the bouquets that I'm doing for her ritual. But anyway, y'all, y'all remember a month ago, I put in a message about uh, a girl named Nicolette that worked in the office for the, for my um, complex. She also lived above me and was the nosiest bitch I have ever seen before in my life and keeps up nothing but trouble was report. I hadn't even been in here a week and this lady had already sent a letter about something that how do you assume it was me or my household like y'all baffled also sent a letter um, a little later on, about about a couple of weeks ago, that she overheard some conversation that me and my husband was having on our balcony. She was lurking, standing above us while we were sitting on our, our balcony is connected to the bedroom. And we were sitting outside. He was smoking a cigarette. We might have had one lit up, you know, if you know, you know couple of little, little small cup of wine having a good time a conversation not loud no music playing but she was lurking anyway reported that so we're getting letters um the lady that lives next door her name is um i ain't gonna say her name but she lives next door she works there too and she loved my son and um gave him heads up so we're talking about melanated, the heads up was given by a melanated woman and the palm color woman was the one was doing the reporting that I didn't understand because I never met her a day in my life and I wasn't even here for a week before something was reported. Anyway, all right. Boy, in the South where I am from, is a racist undertone. To, for a palm color person, in, in just in case, Nobody don't know for a palm colored person, this is the dawn baby, to call a melanated man a boy where I'm from is a racist undertone. Okay? Just so, so we get that straight. Um, anyway, when she did that and it kept, got back to me, I totally wrote an email to her superiors and I also had had enough of this bitch and I did a banishing work. Baby, y'all, this one right here is it's called, uh, what is this one? Bamboo and Bora Bora. Get on, get on it. Yes. So, did some banishing work. I wake up this morning. I love popcorn, y'all. I wake up this morning. 
And um, I see a U-Haul out front. Now, mind y'all, yesterday, me and my husband, we was coming home. We parked. Her and her uh, bald chest man was standing outside, wouldn't even speak. Looked at me and sort of like looked at my husband. But, baby, I, you know, I don't. That's dramatic, baby. I did what I did. I wrote it. And bitch, you are banished. I did that as well. Because you're spiritually incorrect when you went for my head. When you went to the people and I'm just moving in here. And that right there, you call my son a boy. That triggered me to do protection work. And y'all, I keep telling y'all, banishing work, hexing work, left-handed work, all that is a form of protection work for me. I did nothing to you. Okay? So, you kind of pushed and I pushed your ass down. All right, back to it. So, anyway, y'all, they was outside and um, they didn't speak. I came on in the house. So, today I wake up this morning and um, I look outside. I always look outside to see how the day is looking. And I was in my bathroom and I was looking outside and I see a U-Haul. And I see her standing there and her man standing there as well um loading up a u-haul so i'm telling my son i'm asking my son i said son you heard that she got because you know you want to verify your work that came into fruition bitch because there it is in my face so i need to verify because i had to let it alone so y'all my son had to go to the office today to do something and why they verify the information. They verify that she was no longer, uh, first he said he went to her desk. Her desk is as soon as you come into the office, it's right in front of you. She's the greeter lady. Yeah, she she hard up. She the greeter lady trying to report somebody. But um, her desk was cleaned off. And then my son said, the lady said, um, she no longer works for the company. Um, she she got another offer. But, bitch, no, you didn't. You know you got fired or something like that. I don't know. She might, I, I've heard that she had a lot of cases on her. And you know how spirit works. Let me tell you something. Don't be bothering people that ain't bothering you. That's the truth. And especially when you 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 want to thin line yourself with something, why in the fuck would you have so many cases because your attitude is not good? I mean, she's standoffish. Y'all, when I first moved here to go in there to sign my paperwork, instead of greeting me, and I'm saying this not because she's a person, because nobody has to greet you, because I don't speak sometimes. But if you're working for a company, and you, as soon as I open the door and you are the main greeter, there is no way you should be working in a position like that and never spoke to me, never welcomed me to the community. I'm When I say never, y'all, she just sat there. Okay. So, that shit is crazy to me. That shit is crazy. But at the end of the day, y'all, my workings and my ancestors protect they protect especially when I'm walking a straight line you can't fuck with me you can't touch me okay leave me be leave people be leave people be because if you don't you do not never know if you tangle Tangling with a powerful one or a chosen one, whatever you call yourself. But y'all leave people the fuck alone. Indeed. Indeed. So y'all have a good day. I got to get ready. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later. Enjoy that protection ritual that I uploaded. It's in the bio. Bye.